Hello babes and welcome back to my channel and to this video that I've been thinking about filming for a really long time but now we are finally here and this is going to be the video all about how I think when I mix and match my lip colors with my colorful eyeshadow looks. So in this video I'm going to show you three different looks uh, when I'm all done with the looks with everything except the lipsticks and I'm going to show you three different options with every eye look and show you like the things that I could pick for that look, how it looks together with the look, and also chat a bit about what kind of lips I wouldn't pick for a look like this. I hope this is helpful for you. I know that you have asked me to do something like this for a really long time, and I finally did it. And if you want to see more things like this, do let me know because I'm, I'm thinking about like what kind of concept I do want to film. So if there's something that you like have in your head, something really smart, let me know down in the comments because I would love to hear it. But yeah, let's just get into the three different eye looks with the three three different lip options with each look. So it's gonna be nine different lippies. And I'm, I hope you like it. <laughs> I really hope you like it. Let's just get into the meat of the video like Hannah Louise Poston would say. Okay, so this is look number one that I am gonna team up with a lippy. And if you are wondering about this look or any of the other looks, I will link them down below. They should all be live on my channel. So this look is already live and I will put it down below in case you wanna see it. And I will tell you now like how my thoughts are like in, the, in my head, in my brain, when I'm picking out a lip color for this look. And I'm gonna show you three different options and I'm also gonna like leave one of them on because I am in the middle of filming this look. so. Kind of have to finish that video, but this is a very colorful look. This is a very colorful green, purple, uh, and blue look, a somewhat of a cool tone look without being gray or taupe or like any like that. It is just a very bright, like almost sea shattered glass kind of a look, and I really like it. It's made with the Exotic Peacock by uh, Pinky Rose and like I said it will be down below. When I do something like this I want it to be, I try to keep with the tones. So when I do something cool toned I try to pick a cool toned lippy. And I'm gonna show you three different options. The and I don't know if these are still available, I'm pretty sure that these two aren't, but that's not, that's not the thing. First of all if I wanted to go with something darker I would pick something that's darker but more muted since the look is so bright. I mean, you could pick up a, like, I like to pick up a color from a makeup look, like a tone or something with my lippy. And this is like a, this is Hot Chocolate by MAC. This is an unlimited edition packaging. And I know that they keep bringing this color back. I don't think it's part of their permanent line, but they keep bringing it back from time to time. So I'm sure that you at some time will be able to get a hold of this. This is a mid-tone plummy brown. I don't know why they're calling it plummy brown, Hot chocolate, these smell so nice, but like it picks up the purple and it is cool tone, but it's not a bright purple. Let me put that one on first and you can see like what I mean. It's not gonna be the most even applications of even applications because this is not the one I'm keeping, but you can see that you can still go, at not, it's not a super dark lip, but you can always go with a black. <laughs> In case of doubt, like always go with the black, but it's like a slightly darker lip showing you that you don't necessarily have to go with a like a very light nude just because you have a colorful eye as long as you pick up a tone from the look and not go too overboard if you have a look that's already too overboard, you can get away with a lot of things and I don't have a problem with like confidence. I could totally rock a blue or a bright purple lip with this as well. But I do realize that for a lot of people, this is still in the comfort zone with like lip pairings, but it really goes together without being a pale nude. I also wanted you to see how this would look with just a gloss. So I'm gonna line my lips with the uh, Honey Pecan Lip Tensity Pencil from MAC. Uh, this is my lips, but better. And I just line my lips with it and then I fill it out with a gloss. This is Nonsense by ColourPop. It is a, it's a see-through gloss with a lot of cool toned specks of shimmer in it, like lilac and also some like gold. It's like a duochrome gold purple specks in it. It's really pretty and it will go with this look if you really want to play it on the more like safe side but still want to have something to the look. And same here, going with the more cool toned lip gloss, even though it doesn't have a base color, would really like go with this look. So let me take this one off and I'll put the other one on and I'll come back and show you how that looks. Okay, so this is what the lip gloss is looking on and as you can see it's very glossy, it's very shimmery, but it has a bit of a purple undertone which really ties in with the look. And same here if you went with something like 
like a glossy very bright pink or like a too warm peach it might clash a bit with the look and I will say that if you're not gonna not keep with the cool with the cool and the warm with the warm I will say that if you want to clash and put a warm lip with a cool look or a cool lip with a warm like I uh, the best way is to do it with a nude so you could get away with wearing a very warm uh, lip gloss with this of course because it will be more toned down more nude it will be more cohesive if you put the cool tones with the cool tones and vice versa but I really think that this is pretty and if I hadn't already decided what I was gonna wear this would this would be it but let me put on the one I want to wear and it's actually oh snap by Colourpop this actually might be discontinued as well this has the same uh, <laughs> It is slightly lighter than the one that we tested from the beginning. This is more of a mid-tone mauve instead of a darker and like a plummy brown. So this is lighter and it's more of a pinky, cool tone pinky instead of a cool tone plum. You will see when I put it on, this is a matte formula, but I will say the matte formula from the lippy sticks, at least the, not, this isn't matte X, this is the matte formula. It's more of a comfort matte and it does have a more of a velvety, uh, finish. Let me take this one off and I'll put that one on instead. So this is what this one looks like and as you can see this is not as cool toned as the other two. It's more of a neutral toned because it's not a warm pink but it's not a cool pink either. But it's definitely a pinky mauve and it is slightly darker than my lips but it will still fall under the category of being in my lips but better. I will say though that Normally when I go for a nude, I go for a more either beige or a peach or a warm one. But going with a look like this, I do like something like this. This one also very much reminds me of Modesty by MAC. You could probably get the exact same look with Modesty by MAC. And it's just a more neutral toned mauve pink. And I think it's really pretty. And this is what I'm going to have with the look. So this is the finished look that I wore when I did the, the, like the makeup tutorial. And this was the kind of discussion that I had in my head. Do you want to go neutral? Do I want to have a glossy lip or a matte lip or a satin lip? Do I want to have a, like a more neutral like this one? Or like, do, what do you want to have? And I feel like... If you have a very colorful eye, try keeping it with the same tone so you don't clash too much or just go with a neutral to keep it a bit simple. But if you want to go with something else, I would say a lighter gloss like the purple or a like a darker one that has the same tone, it's not too bright, would also work. So that was look number one. Now let's get into look number two and I can show you my lip options with that one. Okay, hello, welcome to look number two and we are going to try out three different lippies uh, with this look as well and as you can see this is a very sultry very warm red orange yellow look so this is totally different from the look that we had before and I have three different lippies to show you two of them being Colourpop lippies as well because uh, like I said I am rediscovering my like Colourpop collection and then one of them is a super new lippy and maybe we should start with this one this is the uh, TikTok lip tint in I don't know what color this is. It is the one that's a peachy nude. They only have three colors and I've never used this, but I am sure that this is gonna work with this look. This one is a glossy, am I in focus? I think so. One of those gloss sticks. And I bought this from Jess Style. So this is a, I think it's a Korean brand. It could be a Japanese brand. And when I do a look like this, I want to go with something that's still warm tone because this one is so bright. This is like on the other spectrum. This is a super warm but super colorful look because it is very orange and very yellow. Although I do have some browns in there as well. But I wouldn't go for something like a wine red that's more of a purpley cool tone. I would want to go with something that's warm tone. So I'm gonna put this peachy, somewhat glossy thing on and I think that this is gonna look really good with this. As you can see this is a very orangey toned peach that's like, it's not a full on like opaque it is a bit sheer and that's what I really love I am so into like gloss sticks and this is definitely a gloss stick and it also smells like strawberries and that's beautiful so this is a peach but it's a very orangey tone almost like leaning like a corally peach so it has a lot of orange in it and therefore I feel like it goes with this look but still being very 
soft and glossy and sheer and I think that is super beautiful something else that I would totally wear with it look like this is this one that's toy it's one of the new creams by Colourpop and this is a very concealer like lippy and I love having a super like blanked out lip with a very colorful and smoky look this one has a bit of a shine to it though because it is a cream so I if you are afraid of having like concealer lips try adding a gloss or using a creamy formula that will give back some life to the lips and make a like a concealer type lip more wearable I know a lot of people would probably stay clear of a lippy like this but I really do love a glossy concealer type lip especially when it's like like this it's my skin tone but just glossy this one has a bit of a peach to it as well a bit of a warmthness to it that goes with the look and I think that this looks pretty but I know that's not everyone's a cup of tea but having a totally blanked out lip is also way to go if you feel like the eyes are just too much. Now I'm gonna put on the lippy that I'm actually gonna wear and this is Chi Chi by Colourpop. Very orangey matte. So this is a not a, um, a matte X, this is a matte so this is more of a comfort matte, more like a velvety matte and look at this color. When in doubt, if you have something orangey on the eyes, orangey on the lips works totally fine or yellowy nude or it just a totally a red color but try to stay clear of the blue tone reds because that might clash with a very warm uh, look i think overall if you're wearing something that's very yellowy orangey on the eyes try to not go with a statement lip that isn't warm it's probably going to be too much at least that's my personal preference but a statement lip that's a warm tone sign me up okay so this is what chi chi looks like on my lips and don't tell me that a statement lip like this couldn't work with like a very bright eye because I feel like these work perfectly together. Like orange, orange, what's not to like? To be honest, you could go with something even warmer orange because this, I'm not going to call this like a cool tone. It's not a cool tone, but it's not as toasty and yellowy as the eye look is. I'm looking in the mirror trying to decide what I think, but... I think these go very good together and I love having monochromatic looks and I love having orange lips so I try to do orange lips when I do really warm looks because I really love how that looks together. And yeah, I don't know if I mentioned that but I have filmed this look as well and it's also live on my channel so I will leave a link to that one as well. Now let's get into the third and final look and I'm going to show you my last three lip options. Okay, welcome to the last look that I'm going to show you some lip alternatives with and it is this look right here and I also actually filmed this look and it's also already live so I will put that as well down in the description box this uh, now being that all three looks that you have seen in this video are live on my channel if you want to see like the eye look as well I'm gonna show you three different lippies with this one as well and I thought that at first I didn't think I was gonna film like lip options with this but then I thought like this is the perfect one to film uh, options with because this is a mix of warm tones and cool tones and like what do you do then? I would like to say that if you are doing a look with a mix of cool tones and warm tones you can go either way like either way the only thing that I personally wouldn't do is a very bright lip that doesn't have the same tone as anything in these eyes like for example I wouldn't do a bright fuchsia lip with this because there's no pink in this look but I could totally do a bright red lip because the orange and the red would totally like go together but not so much the pink like do you get what I'm saying I could totally do a bright blue with this as well because you have the blue in the eyes so I say that you can go either cool tone or warm tone light or dark but I personally wouldn't pick a very bright lip that's just not picked up in the look so I am first going to show you a cool tone lip because I think that a cool toned nude lip would be so pretty with this why do I always have like little fuzzies in my my lipsticks. This is the Colorist Shine by L'Oreal in Hot IRL. It's one of my favorite lippies of all time and this usually lives in my purse. I'm just gonna line my lips a bit. This is the uh, Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Rock and Rose and I'm gonna put those two on together. It's gonna be a cool tone glossy lip that's very nude and I think that that's gonna look so good with this look that's a mix between like cool tones and warm tones. So this is what this lip option looks like and I think that this goes very well. It's not like 
with this look it doesn't look entirely super cool tone it looks more like a neutral with this look but it goes really well together and this could totally be a lip option for something like this even though there's not any browns in this look brown will look good with pretty much every look which like pains me to say <laughs> but I really do like brown lips though I think brown lips are super beautiful even though if it's a light beige or if it's a darker brown if it doesn't have any orange or yellow or pink undertones just a brown that doesn't lean either way it will always look good with a look it, even if you do like a cool tone brown with a warm tone look it's gonna look good so I think that this is really beautiful and this is look number one like lip number one. I'm also going to be putting on the, this is from H&M Beauty, I don't even know if this is available anymore, but it's pretty much the only dark lip gloss I've saved for some reason. I I don't know what I'm doing. It's the only lip gloss that was dark that I found. I wanted to show you that a dark lip gloss could also look really beautiful with this, just showing that it doesn't always have to be a nude lip, even though it's like a very bright eye. This look has, actually has some burgundy in the crease, and I think that putting a lip like this on is going to pull that out. But I don't want it to be a super bright and bold and like full on burgundy purple lip but I think that something like this will be a more sheer result but still being glossy and still picking up some colors from the look so I think this is going to be really good and I think that this is something that I would totally pick as well if I didn't already have my eyes on option number three which is going to be the one that I'm actually going to be wearing with this but let me put this on this is the current affair that's what it's called I don't know if it's all like available anymore but if it is I will link it down below Otherwise, I will link something similar from Colourpop because I used to have something similar from Colourpop but I had it for a really long time and I got rid of it, rid of it in my declutter. But if I can't find this exact one, I will link the one from Colourpop. But yeah, let me put that one on. I'm going to use the same lip liner and I'll show you how that one looks. I personally think that this is a totally okay lip combo to have with an eye like this. It is very vibrant, yes, but it doesn't clash with the look. It's still within the same kind of... A, I don't want to say color family because this is a both a warm and a cool tone look but it's still within the same spectrum of kind of tones that would go together more like jewel tone dusky tones darker yummier tones so this is like a dark berry gloss and it's not totally opaque so you can still see some of my lip peeking through as well and it's gonna fade pretty gracefully as well i know that this one does so I feel like this fit, fits with the look and I wouldn't feel weird going out in this and I think that this is pretty I th think that this totally goes. The last option is the option that I will go for, and that is the one of my favorite lippies of all time. This is Ofra in Miami Fever. I think this is beautiful. This is the most flattering, neutrally toned, burnt orange. Like, it is a matte lipstick, and it has a matte like texture, but the Ofra lipsticks do not totally dry down, so it's very comfortable on the lips. Love this color. It's so beautiful. This will go with any warm tone look and if you have orange in the crease, putting orange on the lips as well, it's super beautiful. Like soup. A burnt orange monochromatic look is bay. Absolutely beautiful and it would look beautiful even if you don't have a warm skin tone as well, especially if you have like a pin pink skin tone and like red hair. So beautiful. So I am putting this on. This is one of my favorite lippies of all time and I'm super excited to be wearing it today. So let me put it on and I can show you what like the lip co color that I will actually pick for this even though I could totally have gone out with any of the other two as well. Okay so that is Miami Fever on and as you can see it really goes with the crease and I just feel like this ties everything together and also together with this like like olive green sweater it's just really yummy and yeah this is the kind of lip color that I love to wear it's one of my favorites of all time and I always feel like a muted like orange neutrally muted orange clay color I'm not making this easy on myself will always look very good if you have a warm crease so if you are unsure of what to do and you have a warm crease I think that having something like that in your lip arsenal uh, it's gonna make picking up a lip color a lot easier and it's also not a safe option it's pretty and it's not out there, but it's not the safe option and I like that. I hope you really liked this video and I hope it was somewhat helpful for you. I have been thinking about filming something like this for a really long time and I just felt like, you know, this is the time and I'm so happy that I did it with three different looks. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe. Why is there a fly here? 
I think spring has arrived. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in this kind of a kind of in fashion because I, I, I do want to do more like how to mix and match, how to, to find the right thing to wear together. Like I want to do more videos like that, I just need to figure out like how to do it. But yeah, I think that was everything. Uh, I will see you in my next video which will most probably be tomorrow because I do upload like four to six videos a week, let's be honest here, but yeah. Bye!